Welcome, Slacker Cubed here. Today we're going to do a tutorial on a simple hidden away automatic composter. I've got the main design behind me and all the items you'll need are in my hot bar below. We'll also look at a variation. I think this is as small as you can make it. But yeah, one slice shorter and we'll take a look at that one too. But yeah, let's check it out. So this one's nice because it fits completely underground. So as all you see is the, whoops, <laughs> uh, barrels or uh, chests on top, whatever you want to use there. This comes in especially handy if you have like a beetroot and wheat farm. You wind up with those extra seeds and you can just toss them in and turn them into bone meal. In my case, I went and picked some flowers. Uh, thought that'd be a little more entertaining. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you just wait a minute there. And little by little, you'll see that bone meal popping up in the output chest. And then, like I said, you could also just use regular chests for this. The advantage of the barrels is you won't see that gray outline of the uh, hopper and dropper below it. But one advantage of using the chests is if you do stick something in there that doesn't go into the composter, uh, which I know I still try from time to time, you can click on that hopper below the uh, input chest and pull anything out that might be stuck. And then with this design, there is one little thing, and that's just that there'll be one piece of bone meal kind of permanently stuck in the dropper below the output chest. But this stuff adds up so quick, that's generally not a big deal. But yeah, with this thing fitting completely underground, you've got flat ground all the way around it. So it should be pretty easy to fit this in with just about any build, even if you're doing like a natural farm, uh, you know, and you're putting it to good use. Should save you some time. I know you can spend half a day in front of that composter trying to get some bone meal out of those extra seats. But yeah, let's take a look. I mean, an automatic composter is pretty simple. Just a hopper into a composter and a hopper out. And then we're using Il Mango's design for the uh, dropper elevator because I think that's about as small as you can get it. And I'll put a link to that in the, uh, the description below. But yeah, let's uh, take a look here. We've got a 2 by 3 block at the base, and then that's 4 deep. And then there's the uh, chests or uh, barrels on top of that. So first of all, you'll need to dig yourself a hole. And then we'll start out by doing the whoop, four droppers facing upwards into our output chest. And then we'll send the bone meal into that bottom dropper. Whoops. <laughs> uh, with a hopper and a hopper on top of that with the composter on top of that hopper and the last hopper uh, on top of the composter with our input chest. All right, let's make this thing work. For that, we will pull a signal out of the bottom dropper using a comparator, and we're going to send that signal into a block uh, with redstone on it. And we're also going to put redstone next to that block, but we will need to cut this off so they're not connected like that. And you can use any block for this. I'm just running with the uh, brown wool today. And then we'll take a repeater. And we're going to send that signal into the bottom hopper, which is going to power that bottom dropper. And then we're going to send that signal up the dropper elevator with a block on top of the comparator. A redstone torch on top of that. And then we'll, you will need some sort of solid block on top of that redstone torch. Uh, you know, in the case right there, it's just grass. Uh, so just about, it, you know, anything will work there. Uh, but you will need a block there to make that work. But yeah, like I said, pretty simple. Not too much to that. And then we'll take a look at what I'm pretty sure is as small as you can make it. I mean, certainly leave me a comment if you've got uh, a smaller design. But this is one slice shorter. Uh, so this saves on one hopper and one dropper. And might as well put the rest of the uh, flowers I picked to good use here. Uh, and then the only disadvantage of this one, and the reason I put it in a kind of an inside build here, is you do have a redstone torch at ground level. I mean, really, you could just put a piece of carpet, you know, a half slab, whatever, on top of that. You know, certainly take the time to cover it up. Uh, but yeah, it's the only disadvantage is you just have that at ground level. One nice thing, though, you don't have that one piece of bone meal stuck in the dropper below the output chest. But otherwise, it works just like the other one. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at that design. For this, we'll just take what we've already worked on and modified a bit. We're going to bring that composter down by one. I'm going to put that uh, hopper leading into the composter. And then we're going to move those input and output chests down one. 
So yeah, nice and compact, and that is all there is to it. Like I said, it uh, should save you some time uh, turning those uh, especially seeds into bone meal. Uh, but yeah, I hope it serves you well. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, or at least got a kick out of it, don't forget to leave a like. And if you have any suggestions for improvements, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next one. Later.